Dr. Pathak, the one and only Dr. Pathak. <laughs> Founder of Sulab Sanitation and Social Reform Movement, the liberated women from Alwar and from districts of Rajasthan who I could meet today, women representatives from orphan defecation free villages of Himantia, whose work I also had the pleasure to see today, representatives from arsenic affected villages of West Bengal, which I was really pleased to see how, our, how they could become arsenic free. And that is something which WHO has been talking about. So Dr. Pathak, you are showing the way for something which WHO has been trying to look for many years. Many years ago when I joined WHO in 1998, arsenic was the biggest problem that we were facing in this belt. Bangladesh, parts of Myanmar, Thailand, parts of India and of course many parts of the world. I'm only pointing out those which belong to my region. And the first presentation that I made to the executive board of WHO, which has never been repeated after that because in the executive board we don't make presentations, was on arsenic. Because arsenic was a burning problem at that time and we were looking for solutions on how to handle arsenic. So what I saw today gives me great pleasure. Not only that, it gives me great pleasure to see many other things that I saw today. Some of them I'd heard of, some of them I'd read about, but I never had the experience that I had of going through all these one by one and realizing how much good work was going on here in Sulap. <laughs> Poor sanitation, as you know, is the root cause of many infectious diseases and that is WHO's mandate. We are looking on how we can prevent and control diseases. Good sanitation and hygiene in households, communities, hospitals and schools is key for ensuring health and saving lives of children and mothers. To give you a background of sanitation in the Southeast Asia region, in 1990 only 25% of the population of Southeast Asia region had access to improved sanitation. The countries in the region have put in immense efforts to reach the MDG targets. However, we have not been able to reach them and now we are looking at the SDG target. But the good news is that there was progress and the proportion of regions population with access to improved sanitation rose from 25% to 49 percent since 1990. Only 95 countries globally and five countries of our region have met the MDG target. So sanitation is still a very major challenge that WHO is trying to address. In that context, Sulab's work on sanitation is not only something that is of relevance to Southeast Asia but to the entire world. I am amazed to see how most I'm amazed to see how most of the vulnerable group such as women who work as scavengers have been liberated from this outdated occupation and can lead now a life of dignity. As part of the Prime Minister of India's vision of Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, Sulab has partnered with the government to eliminate open defecation in India by 2019. It is a huge and a commendable initiative and in today's India where we have high rises, where India is supposed to be doing so well economically, there is no business to have open defecation. We have to get rid of it. The recent work of Sulap, which I saw today and which I have mentioned in providing safe water to arsenic affected communities is an innovative strategy and that is what I commend Sulap a lot for. A lot of innovations are done here. And I in WHO would take the task of taking this forward and taking this technology to other parts of the world. As the 
world is faced with challenges of climate change, it is encouraging to see the environmentally friendly sanitation technologies developed by SURA to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Solid waste management also is a very major, major challenge that the region faces. And I'm very happy to see that there are low cost technologies which Dr. Bhattak has invented here. And my request would be to now scale it up further. And whatever WHO can do in this regard, I would be very happy to do. Surat and WHO have a long history. We have worked together to evaluate water, sanitation and hygiene in rural health facilities in seven states of India. And very recently, we supported the improvement of sanitation and hygiene in 224 households in Sambhal district in Uttar Pradesh. We would like to further strengthen our collaboration. Therefore, I am happy to announce that we are planning to designate Surab as WHO Collaborating Center for Sanitation, <laughs> Hygiene and Water. This is something this is something very prestigious in WHO. There are, there are many institutions which try to become WHO collaborating centers. We have a hard task trying to see who we should take in because the, the demand is so much. But having seen Sulab's work today, I myself offered that Sulab should be a collaborating center for WHO. <laughs> Even though the designation process takes a while, we start working on it with Dr. Patrick's team to see that very soon they are brought on that global list so that not only Southeast Asia, but many countries around the world can benefit from the new technologies and low-cost technologies that have been developed by Sulab. When I took charge of the WHO Office for Southeast Asia region, which is an elected post, and I was the nomination, nominated candidate of the Government of India for that post, I identified seven flagship projects that are based on the needs of the member states of my region. And it makes me happy to see that out of those seven, sanitation and hygiene and the work Sulab is doing is already connected with at least four or five flagships. <laughs> Therefore, for the future, I would like to see our collaboration with Sulab focused on two principal areas. One is developing sanitation technologies which are resilient, which can also uh, survive during the climate change and the climate change impacts, which also we see more at the times of emergencies like droughts and flooding. This would be beneficial to several countries around the world and chiefly of the Southeast Asia region. The second emphasis would be on improving sanitation and hygiene in healthcare facilities for, for preventing hospital-acquired infection, safe delivery of babies, maternal and neonate health, and most of all, patient safety. I took a round today, and there are so many areas I can identify where WHO and SOLAB can walk hand in hand. Sanitation, hygiene and water are critical in the prevention and care of many neglected tropical diseases, which again is a flagship priority of mine. Therefore, lymphatic filariasis, soil transmitted hemanthiasis and trachoma are endemic in India and that is what my emphasis in the region is to see that we can eliminate those diseases which are easy to eliminate. Targeting of sanitation program in villages and a high burden of these diseases can maximize the impacts of both these programs. I would also like to see how we can work with Sulab on research and also documenting and sharing of evidence which Sulab has already generated 
which needs to be shared with the rest of the world. There are lots of good things happening, as I was just mentioning, which the world does not know about. We could be a medium to take that to the rest of the world, and I intend doing this through our governing body meetings, which is the regional committee meeting which we have in the World Health Assembly, which we have in Geneva. So, in conclusion, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Dr. Parthak and his team for putting up such a wonderful event today. I was I was not expecting that I would see the kind of things that I saw today. My visit to Sulap and my interaction with everyone here has given me insights as to how we can work together to address the burning issues of sanitation, hygiene and arsenic-free water. I look forward very much to a fruitful collaboration with Sulap and I would like to congratulate <laughs> Dr. Parthak once again for the great work he is doing. He is not only a visionary, I feel he takes up things as a mission and the way he took me around and gave me the details of every project that he has undertaken made me feel that he is so familiar with it all and made me feel also that perhaps he is responsible for the innovation of all that. So, thank you ladies and gentlemen.